because of obviously legislation about ignition timing had to be improved, therefore fuel efficiency was improved, we went to your electronic ignition systems, therefore your computer controlled ignition systems. So, first one's obviously we've done that. Um, we got rid of the points, the condenser, we put in the ICM and the ECU. Yeah, we then looked at, before we've looked at, some of those sensors on the left. So can anyone tell me what those three sensors are on the left? TPS, MAP, ECT. Fire pressure sensor. No, that's what? TPMS. Uh, ah. Although, it, it says it there. Right, so what is it then? <laughs> right, and MAP. Manifold, absolute so pressure. pressure. And ECT. John, you Engine cooling tem tem temperature. Engine cooling temperature. Yeah, you've also got, okay, because one that's not up there, math. That's mass yeah, airflow sensor. Yeah, yeah, mass yeah, airflow. Well done, your mass airflow sensor. Yeah. Good. And then obviously you've got crank and camshaft sensors as well. Okay, so with all of that information, so throttle position sensor, what are you doing with the throttle? Are you accelerating, decelerating? Are you just cruising? Yeah, mass uh, manifold absolute pressure will determine because you can also use that as your map as well. It will tell you how much air is flowing into the engine. That will also give you a, an indication of how fast you're going. That's what you, and same as engine coolant. That's what how is. hot is it going? Obviously, you need a sensor for it because obviously you used to have um, being at you up to keep the cable. Yeah. Yeah. Which Some still do. So Which should we write those sensors down? Or we need to know you should them. already have them. We've done them a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. We looked at engine sensors. We, I think we went through about eight, and them. you need to know five of them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a couple of weeks ago. Well, it was before. It was before ignition systems. Yeah, I will. I'll take a photo for later. Because we also oh, include we also included the O2, the lambda sensor as well. And oil pressure switch sensor. Oh yeah, I remember now. Right, as I said, very quick because we don't need any of this. This is just typical wiring diagrams for certain engines. So GM, obviously General Motors, Vauxhall, and uh, yeah, Ford. 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 A lot of the stuff you get from GM's American models, isn't it? Well, that's what generally is. is. Okay, crankshaft sensor we've already done. Camshaft sensor does work exactly the same way. I can't reiterate that enough. Yeah. yeah there's no difference, but you, yeah, they just work exactly the same way. Again, typical wiring diagram. Ow! 